Welcome to Last Breath Live, where we share strategies, tips, tricks, and tactics for hunting big white tails, food plots, tree stands, trail cameras, and more. The goal of this series is to bring you educational outdoor content live as it happens in the field. Created by hunters for hunters, thank you for tuning in to Last Breath Live. Do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. Turn on the bell notifications and drop us a comment in the section below. All right, well, it's about that time. We're going mule deer hunting. I can't wait till hunting. Muzzle loader trip to Nebraska. Jake's here. I'm literally flipping the lights off, and we're walking out the door to go. And there he is. He bought us one whole bullet to share. <laughs> and he even bought one microphone so we can podcast, so I gotta bring mine. Yes! We are off. The first fill up of many. All right, my little co-pilot and I, what are we doing? Oh, uh, we're gonna stop, get a phone scope here at Shields. Uh... <laughs> That's all he's got to say about that, folks. <laughs> we're walking into Shields, gonna mask up. I made Jake wear my uh, fiance's mask because he's he forgot his. <laughs> so he looks really cute right now. <laughs> Well, we struck up on the phone scope. Struck out at that is. Major upgrade. But we mask. struck gold <laughs> with a plain mask for Jake. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna hit the Bass Pro in Des Moines and see if they have one. But so far the shields, negative. They did not have the phone scope in the size that we need. All right, spot number two. Got the new mask. See if the Bass Pro Shop provides. All right, we're here. Welcome to Nebraska. It's time to start looking for some deer that want to play ball. Okay, it's day one. Day one, uh, we're ready to go check out some of these places that we e-scouted and see if it looks as good in person as it did on the map. Funny thing, last night when we pulled in, it was uh, about 11 o'clock. <clears throat> right as we were uh, pulling in, we noticed that in addition to our truck being here, there's also all these trucks. And the good news is that one of those guys' trucks had blood, blood in the bed. So I'm really looking forward, like, actually to getting back here tonight and just seeing what everybody saw and uh hearing some stories and stuff like that so that should be pretty interesting but we'll see on the hill all right we're in the thick of things this is gonna be fun Good news is we were walking in here. Somebody had drug a sled out. So you know what that means. I didn't bring a sled in here for anything. Alright, it snowed last night and uh Good news, we cut a, cut a set of deer tracks, so no idea what the deer is, but. That's good. Means there's at least one deer out here to hunt. Good stuff. All right, so when we started hiking in, you said, I wonder if. I wonder if there's some rubs and some good old whitetail sign in here. Lo and behold, 1.8 miles in, we have found a rub. And I say, we, how many sets of tracks have we cut by now? I don't know how many different sets, but it's been somewhat steady throughout here. Well, it's steady now at the 1.5 mile mark. We haven't seen any hunters, so that's cool. Yep. It's going to keep pushing back. We have all day, so it's working slow. All right, it's officially about that time. 
We're getting to climb our first staircase. We were breathing pretty heavy on this one, I think. Going up about 400 feet. Here we go. Gonna find a good spot to let the glass do some walking, so. That is where we're going. Way up there. Hmm? There's already better sign here. Yeah, a lot better sign. Which is a good thing. Well, Shane, if you're watching this, you be proud of me, buddy. Just glassed up my first mule deer that we found. It was two does, but they were so far away. It was uh, laughable. I'm gonna guess a mile and a half. So we're moving. I think some hot bitty shot a big old mule deer right there. Maybe. We just spotted something kind of funny. There's a lone pine tree on this knob right over here. And <laughs> and check this out. There's a brawl on the tree. <laughs> Pretty funny. It's been out here for a while, catching some water. <laughs> it's getting a little saggy in the front there. <laughs> oh, we're at the top of this knob, highest spot we could get over here, and uh, a bunch of deer. We just, I just saw a group of eight mule deer come crest over. I was just picking. I just been up up here for like the last 20 minutes just looking and looking 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 finally i picked up a group of eight mule deer and uh i think there's a small buck with them i don't know how big he is but it, they're really far away right now but they're not too far that we couldn't make a play we still have two and a half hours still till dark so what are they doing just walking walking that ridge forking over um i'm trying to pick out that little buck All right, we are on the legitimately the side of a cliff. <laughs> it's a long way down there. I don't know if you guys can tell that or not, but in this about 80 yard stretch right here, it's about a 400 foot elevation lost. Okay. All right, uh, this morning we were headed to a piece of public that we saw, thought might be overlooked. Smaller piece, way at the end of a road. On the way there this morning, we actually saw a group of whitetails, um, looks like headed back off feeding. So we did some digging and actually got permission to hunt where we think they were feeding. So we're going to set up there this evening. Hopefully they come off from their bedding and go back to feed them where they were this morning. Or, you know, we have a good spot to spend prime time hours now. And right now we're just driving around scouting to try to find plan B or C. You heard it there first. Got a group of mule deer bedded. This could be our this could be our first stock on potentially a bedded buck. We just see one doe right at the top of a crest and uh, big satellite deer's hanging out. We spotted her from I don't even know how far it is. Probably 900 yards, 1,000 yards away. So could be a big buck with them. Well, there was no buck bedded with those does. So on we go. My gate guy. The Gatester, Gatester Jakester. Jake's opening gates right now. We had to open the gate from one unit to go to another, so he's busy finagling with the fence post right now, but once he gets it back in here, we're gonna go check out this new unit that we haven't been to before. <clears throat> and uh, continue to keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys, we're back in the whitetail bunker. Dave's got fruit snacks. All right, uh, well, today's been not as exciting as yesterday. We, what did we do today? We hunted this morning. Did we ever give an update? I don't think so. Okay, so we hunted here this morning on the next knob over. Crept over, saw some deer. 
Not, not the buck that we were after. We did see the other buck on another piece of prime, a gray buck. And did some scouting this midday. Saw some whitetails, saw a little buck, and now we're back to plan A, waiting for that big buck to come back. And more, more time to squeeze one off. All right, give me a little update. Okay, so it's day four. Day four, we're playing game together. The field that we've been hunting, we able to put a successful spot, stock on a buck, put a shot on him, look pretty damn good. He was getting real Bambi-legged. And uh, we're gonna go peek over this knoll here and keep him, uh, Going off the neighbors because we already talked to him. <laughs> we found good blood, blah, blah, blah. You will not believe this. We tracked this blood trail over here. It's about an hour or some from the shot, maybe a little bit after. We saw two coyotes run off one of these ditches here. And we see a coyote right now eating a dead deer that looks like it's my buck. It's about 200 yards away right now. And they have absolutely decimated it in under an hour. It's unlike, it's insane. So we think the deer I shot is dead getting ate by a coyote, we're gonna shoot that coyote and hopefully salvage whatever's left because they destroyed it. All right guys, this is where he crossed the fence right here. Good amount of blood. As soon as he turns, Jake's gonna shoot him. There you go. What? Get ready. Dumped him. Yeah. Dumped him. <laughs> wow. And we found your buck. Hey, come here. Give me a hug, Dude, buddy. Good Please. job. Good job. Yeah. What? Smoked him. What? Oh, yeah. what are the odds of oh that? Oh my god. That was this cool. Is the craziest thing. We shot that deer too freaking an hour and a half ago, Jake. Not long. His whole butt is ate out. He's got coyote was just gnawing on him. And dumped him. We kicked another coyote out on the way here too. I cannot. This is the crazy. Great shot. Thing. Oh man. Oh man, that sucks. Wow. I cannot believe that. Absolutely incredible. Well, we went. Nobody's gonna believe this. No, that's insane. That is. That's a pretty coyote too. He's yeah. like all white. Yeah. This is the crazy. We should skin thing. him out. Yeah. Well. A real moment of truth. Let's get a good look at the buck. Get a good look at the coyote. Oh, wow. Deer hunting is a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. I cannot believe this. You smoked him. That's a beautiful coyote. Yeah. Wow. We're gonna have to skin him. We're gonna skin He's him. He's pretty. Hey, here's the buck. Now we went to Nebraska. It's yesterday it was 50 degrees. Today, or today's getting up to 50 degrees. And uh, we seen this deer out in that field and he was one we want to put a tag on. We'll be proud to put a tag on. And this is my first out of state animal, period. First out of state buck and I'm so excited. 
Man, this is, I cannot believe that. I gotta call my dad. This is utterly the craziest thing ever. At 7.05 today, we shot a buck. Literally 7.05. I just don't, I've never seen anything like this so fast. That's the buck right here. Um, this is a, so big backstory on this. This piece of private that we got permission on borders up to public. So at a high glassing point, we watched this deer, a group of deer come in every day off the public to the private. And then we try to cut them off back on the public. And then this guy gave us permission. And this deer that Jake shot right here, this, we bumped, we bumped two coyotes as we were blood trailing him. And I mean, this is complete carnage. It is nine o'clock. 9.46. What's that? Oh, don't. <laughs> there you go. 9.46. It has been two hours since we shot this buck. Literally almost, two. Almost unrecognizable when we came over the hill and we saw this. We were thinking. We were thinking. Is this a different deer? Is this a, another random dead deer? And we saw the antlers gleam there. And it's like, that's our deer. And I just cannot believe how quick a work they, they made on him. Like. That was one of, that's one of the craziest I don't know how, I mean, they had to get here pretty dang quick because like, I mean, look at this carnage all the way up to the front. Just shoulder. look at this. It's not like they just ate the hams. I mean, it's back to hams gone guts, guts eaten. We don't even know where I hit him. <laughs> I got to look at the hide to see where I exactly hit him. And then you got this coyote. Hold this guy up. Yeah, look how white he is. Big old male, like a yeah. big male. And he was just chomping, like he was just shaking his head, eating his deer. And uh, we were able to put a successful stock on a mature coyote as well. So <laughs> two for two today. Two for two on stocks. Yeah, wow. Dude. This is unreal. Craziest, craziest thing ever. Nebraska, late season, OTC, made it happen, early morning hunt, on a food source. <laughs> on a food source, got a coyote, and we got a buck. I'm happy. I'm yeah. Glad I'm glad it ended this way. All right. But a uh, pretty nasty uh, game saving, game processing, gutting experience begin. Uh, the coyotes kind of already did that job for us, but there's the coyote, there's the buck, kind of chilling together. Now we're gonna get as much meat as we can into those. So we're probably gonna take the back ham that they didn't get to, the front side shoulder that they didn't get to, the backside back strap that they didn't get to, and the meat off the neck. Um, Cause if Jake wants to mount this deer in any way, he's probably gonna have to get a new cape anyways. So we can peel up the neck and get some neck meat off of there. So that'll be good, let the work begin. All right, so we just case skinned a coyote, uh, got the back ham, front shoulder, neck meat, and head off of Jake's deer. Now we're gonna pack out. So here we go. Pretty cool. There's a there's a buck on there. Coyote on the back. <laughs> I've only really ever watched this in uh in films before, so this is kind of a cool moment for me. I'm trying to get out of here though, and thank you guys for following along. It's been a fun four days. Topped it all off with a buck and a coyote today. Good morning. It's day five. And last night we uh scored permission on a on a guy's ranch so that's pretty awesome hopefully we see some deer today he's been uh, sending us a bunch of pictures of deer he's got around and stuff like that so really excited about that and uh jakey is driving wheel man <laughs> so we'll be there in about 50 minutes we're gonna shoot the gun a couple times and then uh go hunt all right we just came over the hill there's jake it's freaking steep right here. <laughs> and we glassed up a big four by three. In the group. That was one of the smaller ones, so we're gonna go see if we can find the big one. Well, that suckers gonna had his head down and uh, Jake doesn't have a good shot yet, so we're gonna sit here and wait him out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
You did it, right there. We did it, baby. We did it. Oh my God. Oh. He's down. He's down right there. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Drilled him. All right. Buck down in Nebraska. Big muley. Jake's first meal there. Shot him at. 100 and... It was a tip shot. 110? 120? He walked closer. Walked closer? You drilled him like he dr he dropped. I don't know, 10, 10 15 seconds. Wobbled around and tipped, tipped over right after Jake shot him. So we are going to go recover this fat boy. Whew. Big muley down. It is windy. And we have... This is the only way to get down this bluff here. It's really steep, really freaking steep. We can't actually go out the way that we shot him because there's a cliff. <laughs> Jake was literally laying prone over a cliff when he shot him. <laughs> oh, doesn't get any better than that. Oh man, that's so awesome. Drilling too. Yes. <laughs> He's right up here. I'm about to touch my first mule deer ever that I ever killed ever. Won't ever have this moment again. Oh man. Oh man. Dude. Jake, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now, Jake? He's got deep forks, three by. <sighs> D3s are really good. Oh man. I can't. Holy crap. Oh, that's awesome. Look how wide he is, too. Yeah. Oh. Incredible. I can't, like, I just feel, I just feel like I jumped in a time capsule this entire trip. Felt like a damn cowboy up there <laughs> sneaking up on these mule deer. Nothing like anything I've ever done in Illinois. So much fun. Incredible. And we were all the way up there. Oh, on top of that. Wow. wow amazing december there's mixed emotions on what's going on but sometimes you just got to go find and make something happen and that's exactly what this trip was perfect shot too oh yeah drilled them yep that's the exit that's the exit definitely got hard on the way out i don't know this couldn't this is awesome wow good job thank you thanks for landing all down dude well, here's the thing too. It was Grant's up to bat, and Grant was noble enough. He says, "I just want to get good footage." <laughs> Maybe that says more about me than him. But uh, wow, we gotta get you one. Here he is. He's so wide. <laughs> He's so wide. Oh man, look at that thing. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Oh, nice shot, brother. Thank you. Pretty exciting moment right now. We're at a Taco John's, getting some potato lays to celebrate. Jake, killing two bucks in two days. Uh, no thanks, just those uh, cheese things. So, these are gonna taste really, really good. There's not a whole lot of Taco John's around the way we live anymore. Kind of all of them closed down, so this <laughs> is a treat. Whenever you can spot one, it's kind of like a unicorn, I feel. Oh, here they are, holy smokes. One sec, I gotta put my debit card back real quick. All right, night. thank you, you thank too. You oh. just got bird. heaven on earth in a sack. Go, oh, buddy. All right, it's day six, and uh, we just spotted a giant. We're gonna go put the sneak on him. Here we go. All right, well, it's day seven, and uh, the buck that we want to kill just bedded. We put him to bed, he's in a good spot, so we're gonna go get way out around him and then start making our sneak. Hopefully he doesn't move between now and about 20 minutes from now, 30 minutes from now, and we can put a shot on him and end the trip on a really high note. Well, assuming Jake and I don't jack this one up beyond 
Holy hell recognition. This could very well be the last duck of the trip, so. On a good one. Fingers crossed. On a good one. He's mine. On a good one. So. Oh, hope it works out. All right, guys. I just shot a big muley. We came over this hill. Oh, the does, they must have heard us. It's a little quieter today, and they were up. And then they dropped down. I estimated that he was about 200. I didn't have time to get my range out, but I knew he was about 100 from the distance where we were. And uh, and then he went, and he was about double the distance, so I guess 200, and with the muzzleloader that we have, it's a, it's a 45 caliber bullet, or it's a 50 caliber bullet, and we got four, four charges in there. So we got 200 grains of powder, and at 200, it drops six inches. So I literally put it right at the top of his shoulder, right on his spine, and it, it must have just, it, it must have just smoked both lungs, maybe, maybe in the heart. But he's down. We watched him flop over, and uh, <sighs> so relieved just because Jake and I have been hunting our asses off. Day eight. Yeah, it's day seven, eight. It's been a hell of a trip. And I'm glad he was able to go out on a high note. So we're gonna go recover this deer. And man, <clears throat> I can't, I know that Jake and I are pretty much speechless and we can't thank the rancher enough for allowing us again to come out here and get permission to hunt animals like this that we can't find in our home state. And oh, I gotta love it when a plan comes together and it just did. Oh. Wish you, wish you were here too, Garrett. Wish you were here. I'm gonna have to call Matt and Jesse right after this. Matt's probably beating on iron. Jesse's probably cracking into safes. <laughs> here he is. Wow. Oh, he just tipped over. Look at that. Look at that shot, dude. Just right on the freaking button. Holy smokes, look at this guy. Look how he freaking tips out. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to. Oh man, holy shit. Oh wow, holy smokes. I'm so happy with this deer. He's throwing a little bit of, throwing a little bit of character over here. He's got good brows, he's nice and wide. This was the one that we wanted and we got it done, Jake. We got it done. Congrats. Thanks, buddy. I don't know how this trip could have turned out any better than this. We talked about like, if we get one buck down, that's awesome. Two we get one. Amazing. Look how pretty this guy is. Wow. Holy shit. It's not often for Illinois to come and do something like this, but we got it done. So, well, this is gonna be the ending of a uh, one hell of a last breath live. This is my view from behind this guy. I don't know how it gets any better than that.